Imagine in 2024, you find yourself with a sum of cash equal to your mortgage. What do you do? Pay off the mortgage or invest the cash? This is a dilemma faced by many homeowners who find themselves in the fortunate position of having a significant amount of cash on hand. On one hand, you have the option of paying off your mortgage, a debt that's been hanging over your head, perhaps for years. This could provide you with a sense of financial freedom and security, knowing that your home is fully paid off. On the other hand, you could invest that cash. The stock market, real estate or other investment vehicles might offer you the opportunity to grow your money over time. But of course, with potential reward comes potential risk, and that's where the real question lies. Is the potential return on an investment worth the risk when you could simply pay off your mortgage and be done with it? To further complicate matters, you also have to consider the interest rate on your mortgage. For instance, if your mortgage has an interest rate of 6%, you would need to earn a return on your investment that's greater than 6% after tax to come out ahead. That's a tall order especially in today's unpredictable financial climate. So, as you can see, this is not a decision to be taken lightly. It's a complex equation, involving not only your current financial situation but also your future financial goals, your risk tolerance, and the economic environment. It's about weighing the certainty of paying off a debt with the uncertainty of potential returns on an investment. And that's precisely what we're going to do in this video. We'll delve into the pros and cons of each option, paying off the mortgage versus investing the cash. We'll consider various scenarios and factors that might tip the scales in one direction or the other. And hopefully, by the end of it all, we'll have a clearer picture of which option might be best for you. So, let's weigh the pros and cons of each option and see which one comes out on top. First up, let's consider paying off the mortgage. Now, there's something undeniably liberating about owning your home outright. Imagine a life without monthly mortgage payments. That's an immediate and consistent reduction in your financial obligations, which might just make your wallet heave a sigh of relief. But there's more to it than just financial freedom. Paying off your mortgage can potentially boost your credit score. After all, credit bureaus look favorably on those who successfully fulfill their loan obligations. However, as with most things in life, this decision isn't all sunshine and rainbows. One of the potential downsides of paying off your mortgage is the loss of certain tax benefits. Currently, mortgage interest is tax deductible, which can be a significant saving for some homeowners. Also, it's worth considering that by paying off your mortgage, you're essentially putting all your eggs in one basket, your home. This could pose a risk if the property market takes a downturn or if you need quick access to cash for an emergency. And let's not forget about the opportunity cost. The cash you'd use to pay off your mortgage could potentially be invested elsewhere for a higher return, especially if the interest rate on your mortgage is relatively low. Paying off your mortgage can bring peace of mind, but it also has its drawbacks. Now, what about investing that cash? Next, we consider the option of investing the cash. Let's delve into this alternative route, shall we? Investing your cash can hold significant potential benefits. For starters, there's the possibility of earning a return that surpasses your mortgage interest rate. Imagine this scenario. Your mortgage interest rate sits at 6%, yet your investments could potentially yield a return of 8% or more. In such a case, wouldn't it make more financial sense to invest the cash and let it grow? But that's not all. Investing your cash also provides a sense of flexibility. By not tying up all your funds in your home, you maintain liquidity. You have cash on hand, ready to be used for emergencies or to seize other investment opportunities that may arise. However, it's important to remember that investing is not without its risks. The market can be as unpredictable as the weather. There's always the potential for market volatility, where you could see the value of your investments fluctuate and even potentially dip below your initial investment. Moreover, while the prospects of higher returns are tempting, they are by no means guaranteed. The potential for loss is real and should be considered in your decision-making process. Investing can offer higher returns but it also comes with its own set of risks. So, which option should you choose? After weighing the pros and cons, which option comes out on top? Well, we've explored the benefits and drawbacks of both paying off your mortgage and investing that cash. Paying off the mortgage offers a guaranteed return in the form of interest saved, along with the peace of mind that comes from being debt-free. On the other hand, investing the cash could potentially yield a higher return, especially in a bull market, but it comes with its fair share of risk and uncertainty. Considering a mortgage interest rate of 6%, 
The decision is highly personal and depends greatly on your financial situation and risk tolerance. If you're risk averse and value the security of owning your home outright, paying off the mortgage might be the way to go. Conversely, if you're comfortable with taking on some risk for the potential of higher returns, investing could be your best bet. Remember, this is not financial advice. It's always best to consult with a financial advisor before making major financial decisions. So, there you have it, a comparison of paying off your mortgage versus investing your cash. It's crucial to remember that personal finance is just that, personal. What works for one person may not work for another. Deciding whether to pay off your mortgage or invest your cash isn't a one-size-fits-all answer. It depends on your risk tolerance, financial situation, and long-term goals. It also relies on market conditions and the interest rate of your mortgage. Take some time to evaluate your circumstances. Consider your financial goals, your comfort with risk, and the potential returns from different investment avenues. Talk to a financial advisor if you're unsure. They can provide personalized advice based on your unique situation. Remember this video is not financial advice, it's a conversation starter, a way to get you thinking about your options. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to leave a comment with your thoughts and subscribe to our channel for more financial insights. Thanks for watching. Big thanks for tuning into ANC Albert News Channel. If you enjoy the news and want to stay in the loop, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Don't miss out on future updates, your support means the world. Stay informed, stay awesome.